Here's the Mercedes G Class. This is a 350 Blue Tech. The V6 turbo diesel engine, which is uh, parked on the banking at Brooklands. We're going to go for a spin in a minute if I don't slip up. So I thought I'd show you the car before we go for a drive. Old school, handsome, but inside is a different story. Let me show you. So unlike a Defender, Land Rover Defender, this thing's bedecked in S-Class bits and pieces, ruched leather, which is why it costs such a lot, 84 grand. So let's get in it and we'll go for a drive. Have a quick look in the back. There's plenty of space for five people and quite a large boot too, as you can see. So let's go for a spin. On the road and the G-Class is a really comfortable cruiser. It's it's like a Land Rover Defender with trappings from the Mercedes S-Class. But whereas a Defender costs 25, 30 thousand pounds, this costs 84 thousand pounds. It's got a three litre V6 diesel, turbo diesel engine, which uh, has 211 horsepower, 540 newton meters of torque, and does not 60 in just over nine seconds. This one's optioned to 112,000 pounds, which is an enormous amount of money, and there's the uh, sat-nav lady talking to me, an enormous amount of money for what it is. We had a look around the interior earlier, and it is comfortable, the seat is very comfortable, the driving position is slightly strange. It's, uh, it's not strange, it's like a Defender. You know, it's, a, it's an old school off-road motor. It cruises nicely, the engine's really nice, the gearbox is very good, typical Mercedes. It's got flappy paddles, but you know, at the end of the day, it is a, an off-roader and it's quite wallowy. The steering's not very precise. I can move the wheel quite a lot without it doing a great deal. It's kind of old school, but it's still relevant today because some people like to buy them. Whilst they're still selling them, Mercedes might as well still make them. And that's the point of the G-Class. It is an old school car in 2014 and it's still on the road and it's still pretty fine although personally I'd rather have an under of a Discovery uh, which has the capabilities of the G-Class but isn't quite so exclusive I suppose but does everything else better despite all of the, uh, the leather and the heated seats and the cruise control and the automatic lights and the various different modern essentials that this car has they do all feel added on tacked on instead of part of the car and for me something more modern all round would be more preferable for the budget which is an extremely high budget don't forget you can buy a 911 for that kind of money you can buy a Range Rover for that kind of money you can buy an ML for that kind of money 